Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a really simple looking and professional uh, logo, a text logo on Illustrator and Photoshop. So, okay, to start with, we want to go uh, click new, and it doesn't really matter what your width is. Um. Uh, so now that we have this open, we're going to open a uh, like uh, use our text, and we're going to click and type in our name. So I'll use it, example. We'll do all in capitals name, and I'll put it on two lines. And now just to make it look neater, I'm wait. I'll get the font off of it. Okay, and now to make it look a little bit more neat, we're going to center it. Sorry, select all of it, center, and then we'll just drag this over to the middle of our page. There we go. And now we want to click it all, select all of it, and we're going to go over here, switch these around. And then come up to our, where's our font there? And we're gonna get a nice thick font. So like that, and we can change our stroke width a little bit. I don't really want to. Um, and so just by, I'll make it, the font a little more bigger so that you guys can see it on the camera. Maybe even just a little bit bigger. Okay, and now because we have it so big, I'll bump up the stroke width to um, maybe a little, go around five. And now we can in Illustrator choose our inside color, so we could do like a gold, like we could do like a nice. You can change all your different colors, but I prefer to do this in um, Photoshop. So it is possible to just do it in Illustrator, but I'm going to head over to Photoshop and get it all done. Okay, now that we've opened it in uh, Photoshop, we're going to go down to our canvas and we don't want to worry about our resolution just yet and just extend it a little bit so that we can see more of it. Proceed. Oh. Image. Canvas size. Here we just bump that up to 35 and this to 25. There we go. Um, okay, now once we've done that, we want to add a new layer. So we can just click here or we can go up here and go new layer um, either one works and now we want to go to our first layer with our text I'll rename that and we want to select the like the outside of the text so we've got in the background and then we want to right click and click select inverse so that will select the lines and everything because if we now when we color it'll go on the inside and we can drop our layer we added before behind and so that means it's nice and perfect here whereas if we did if we just selected the text for example so just the inside here and then went to our other layer and colored it in when we um, when we go up and zoom in on it, you see there's like a white line and it just gets really annoying, especially if you're using ro uh, low resolution logos. Okay, so I'm going to select uh, the outside inverse and then come here, drop this layer behind and I'm going to go for like a gold kind of effect. Um, 
get a brush if we don't want it too soft and just colour it in. For this I'm not using the pen, I'm just using a mouse. So you guys can do this. There we go. And now we want to go and get these inside bits here. Hold down shift to select multiple areas. Okay, and then we want to go to our other layer and press delete. And we should be good for that. And now we're just going to try and make it look a little bit more goldy, add a gold effect. So I'm going to soften my brush a bit, but a lot, bring it down to zero and maybe make it a little bit bigger and just, mm, we want to get our selection. There we go. And now we just want to go and do a few strokes here and there just to change it up a bit. There we go, it's already looking a bit more gold. And so... We can go back to Illustrator, this is optional. And we can make I like, I prefer doing this personally. And we'll, I'll see you guys in Illustrator with this. Actually, no, we just open it straight up. Use this one we had before. Select it all and just bump up our lines to like 20 or even 30. And now we're going to save that. And go back to that um, Photoshop and place uh, this one. And now we want to try and line it up. Which that looks good. Okay, and now we got to move this one up as well. Actually, let's go back a bit. Let's, um, before we move that up, it'd just be a lot easier. So we'll go Control Z and bring that down there. And now we'll replace it. There we go. All in shape. And we'll move our color layer to the front. And now we got a nice thicker layer and we're going to go around with a gold alright so we're going to remove that and just hit all these black lines up this and it should look a lot better I prefer it like this when we add the black the big thick black layer And there we go, there's your quick and easy text logo. Um, yeah, here, and so it's just one big block. And there you go, that is your logo text. Um, I'll attach all my work I did in the comments below as a downloadable link. Um, so if you want to just look at that, and if you're having trouble or something, you can use that. Um, anyway, we all come together, we can fix what's broke. Yeah, I'm talking about record labels and managers, cause they all steal the most. They want me now, cause I'm sitting low. Shouldn't be thinking now loud through my music, but the deal is closed. Focus on progression now, need to sign that dotted line. I know that I'm up next, man, don't call me if it's not worth my time. All of y'all cause me stress, I don't need to impress. But I know that you won't believe me, what's been on my mind is a word with no image. I don't mean to be rude, but the majority...
already a famous rapper, so just good looking dude.